Hey guys, before starting, don't forget to check out this uh, uh, awesome 3D modeling channel on SolidWorks. Goes with the name of MacBus. The link is in the description below. So do have a look on this channel and don't forget to subscribe it. Hey guys and welcome back to another video of Spark Plug. So in this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to make this cam and follower assembly. So basically, we have got three components here. The first one is the cam shaft. The, the second one is this frame, the yellow one and the fourth part component is our uh, the followers. So, so I will show you how to make this assembly in Fusion 360. So switch to new workspace. Uh, we will start by making the, uh, the yellow part, the frame first, then the base and then we will make the cams and the followers. So for that, we will start by constructing a plane. So we are, uh, uh, actually what I am going to do, I am going to mirror, uh, construct this whole assembly uh, through the symmetric uh, default XY plane. So that's why I am going to construct a plane, uh, just select this plane and the distance to uh, make this as 80 and now on this plane draw a rectangle. draw rectangle like this and give the rectangle width of 50 mm press enter and the height of this will be 180 mm and you may finish the sketch now click on extrude extrude it backwards up to a distance of minus 20 make it minus 20 this will be our new component and press ok press shift n uh, to initiate toggle color assembly then go to mirror mirror bodies select this body mirror plane would be this and press ok now just confirm the distance from here to here is 160 mm ok now again go to this plane press R for rectangle draw a rectangle like this press D for dimension give this a dimension of 20 mm and uh, finish the sketch and click on finish the sketch <clears throat> once finished all you need to do is again click on extrude the extent will be to an object and select this face right here and operation would be join now once done what I'm going to do I'm going to make a hole on this surface so for that just click on this surface draw a line right in the center here not in this I'm not making the line in the origin point remember I am making the uh, I have snapped the center of this profile now press C for circle and draw a circle of die at 35 no, this will be of diet 10, sorry. Yeah, 10, like this. Uh, let's make it 20. Yeah, 20. And the distance from the bottom would be 80 mm. So make this 80 and finish the sketch and click on extrude, select these two and make a hole through it, like this. Now, once done, now the next step I, what I am going to do is again go to create click on this face draw a circle coincentric with the, this circle with a diameter of 35 and finish the sketch. Now again select these two circle and extrude it this time the operation would be new component. Uh, this is the part of the camshaft and the distance would be to an object select this face and press ok. Now once done, again click on sketch, select this face, uh, create a circle here of dia 20 and exit it, click on extrude, select this face, extrude it up to a distance of 50 and press enter. Again go to mirror, mirror features. So I'm going to mirror this so that it gets automatically be made on that side. So the the feature was from the timeline select the last extruded and the mirror plane would be the symmetric XY plane 
and press ok now once done now i am going to make the hole on top of this so basically there is no actual location for the hole the hole or the followers needs to be just above your cam so basically where you are going to make your cam uh, profile just make sure just the hole is just above the it so for now just click on this surface press l for line and from this center to this draw a line press c for center and draw a radius draw a circle of 10 dia and press d for dimension from here to here give this a dimension of 38 now once done go to create go to rectangular pattern select object as this circle and the direction as this line and the quantity would be 4 and the distance type select the spacing and the now if i just drag the cursor here now the distance would be 28 and you may press enter for just be sure make sure the distance from this point to this point is 38 okay yeah so finish the sketch and again select all these holes and make a hole like this now once done what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a sketch create a plane offset to this plane and offset distance would be 8 and you may press enter now again click on sketch select on this from the sketch platelet platelets uh, click on slice so what it will do it will create a slice now again from origin draw a line like this and on this very line draw a circle of diameter 100 like this and bring it back upwards and press D for dimension and from the center of this circle to the cir uh, circle of we have earlier drawn give this a dimension of 20 like this and you may finish the sketch now once done click on extrude extrude this circle up to a distance uh, first the profile would be join and the distance would be 20 like this so now once done what i'm going to do i'm again going to make this uh, the cam again four times but the but the position will not be the same so bas basically each cam uh, uh, so basically it's up to you where you want to place your cam according to that according to that profile your followers will be moving so basically i'm just explaining you the concept how the this assembly will work so for that again click on extrude extrude distance would be 20 and the start position this time would be offset and offset of 8 mm and like this and this time just select the new body instead of join and press ok once selected press m for move select the bodies select this point and select the pivot point as the center of this circle once selected press green ok and remove this i am going to move this exactly 180 degrees once done and press ok now you guys can see i have just made it just opposite to the previous one now again go to combine select this profile and this profile and again combine it now i am going to mirror this profile so again go to faces not the features because it will give the error because i have already moved that component so select these faces which you want to be mirrored select the mirror plane at the center plane and press ok now this is how the profile will look like now again go to the base profile uh, there is no dimension for the base particularly draw a rectangle like this it is just for visual and again draw the like this join words make it new component and press ok now for the assembly purpose this blue frame needs to be grounded uh, I, we don't want it to be moving so for that just right click on it and go to ground now i can move this
now the first component is this the second component oh this is the body from this create a new component yeah so i can i cannot move this because i have just grounded this component i can move this and i can move this don't forget to revert back to the original position so assemble go to uh, rigid group so make a rigid group between this component and the base and press ok now i can still be able to move this so for that let's remember the distance from this point to this point the distance is 30 mm so again go to joint select this point and snap of the circle of the blue part and again just offset it up to a distance of 30 mm and from the motion select the motion as revolute joint and you may press ok now you guys can see that i am able to rotate this part now revert back the position now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create the followers for one hole only select the circle here and draw a circle of radius 10 and extrude it the direction would be two-sided for, for topwards extrude it and this will be our new component up to a 10 mm and switch to front view and extrude the bottom till it touches this there is no particular dimension so make sure it don't actually touches so I think 69.5 or 69.9 would be okay yeah 69.9 would be okay and you may press okay now again for little bit more details you can just click another make another circle to make the head a little bit uh, bigger so click on this and extrude it up to a desired position now we have a follower here now press f4 fillet select this edge and give it some radius like this to be uh, more realistic now once done what you are going to do is you are going to create a rectangular pattern so again rectangular pattern this time the component would be component select the object as this followers the direction any as you want again repeating the same step like earlier uh, the distance would be 4 and minus 28 and press ok now what I am going to do is I am going to ally, uh, assign the sliding joint between each of these two. So for that go to joint select this point and this one and the joint would be slider joint like this. Again you can move it down upwards like earlier position and repeat the same step for all three of them I am skipping this part for to make the video short yeah so I have assigned all the three joints like you can see here they are kind of moved uh, like this so if I try to move this you guys can see the cam is moving but the follower is not responding according to its motion so for that what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign a contact sets so for that Go to assemble, go to enable contact sets. Make sure you don't click on uh, enable all contact sets. So right click on the contact sets here, new contact sets and select the two component between which you want contact sets to be made. So select the first cam followers and the camshaft and you may press OK. Now if I try to move the cam, you guys can see the follower is also uh, re responding accordingly. But as, as soon as the uh, cam moves downwards, you guys can see the follower is not moving downwards. It is going upward, but it is not going downwards. So for that, what you are going to do is just control Z or you guys can say select the revert position. Now what I'm going to do is select the first slider joint. This was a slider 3 joint and right click on it and click on edit joint limits. Now what I am going to do is I am going to make the any this position as the mother position. So what I am going to do is I am going to click on the rest position. So this is initially this is the zero position and I if I press ok now 
if I just try to drag this position upward and as soon as I release the cursor, it automatically gets down on its original position. So this was the, this is the really the trick to make this assembly possible. Now if I just try to move this profile, you guys can see it is automatically going downwards. So this, uh, this is how this assembly will work. So again repeat the same step for the for these two positions also so for slider 4 also edit joint limit rest at 0 so slider 5 also edit joint limit no for slider 5 also edit joint limit rest at 0 for slider 6 edit joint limit rest at 0 uh, another contact sets new contact sets between this and this like this now again go back downwards another new contact sets between this this and this and press ok now your assembly is completed you may hide the joint here and if i just try to move the cam the all the followers is still uh, moving accordingly so this is how this assembly will work you guys can further add the handle and all the other details you want and if you want your assembly to be function let's right click on the revolute joint and click on animate model it will automatically be running till you press escape button so hope you guys will enjoy the video please comment any queries and suggestions for my upcoming videos and don't forget to share and subscribe my channel thank you and have a nice day